All right. Uh, how did you come to be involved in the Student Project Symposium? Um, so I'd actually presented this research at uh, another similar conference, uh, the the NSERC Undergraduate Student Fair, um, and so I saw um, I'd seen this thing, at, seen the symposium advertised, and uh, it, it seemed like a really good opportunity to uh, to present my research and get involved in that sort of thing, and so I really it was through the publicity of the USSU that I discovered it and and found out about it and was able to become involved. Uh, do you know how others could be involved in this in the future? Um, it's definitely um, talking to your department, getting involved in different research, and just uh, and and really just signing up and, and putting your project out there. I think letting people know all the, the different projects that you can do at this university. So, uh, could you briefly describe for me your project? Okay, so my project's in um, theoretical computer science. So I'm looking at uh, kind of the borderline between math and computer science. In particular here, I was looking at um, the, the different ways you can use computers uh, to help kind of prove, prove different theorems and prove, prove different things about math. Um, and with the different way that you, ways you can uh, interleave letters of different, uh, different words, different s strings of zeros and ones. Uh, it's something called the, the shuffle operator. And so I was, I was looking at the properties of that and trying, trying to explore something that, that really we, we don't have a lot of knowledge about right now. Uh, so what did you ultimately find out? Um, so ultimately, I was able to discover about 40 uh, patterns, I'll call them, uh, that, that words of this shuffle operator always follow. Um, and, and so uh, by, by discovering these patterns, I was able to, to kind of classify the different words um, and, and speed up techniques for determining things, which before had been really slow. Um, so, yeah. uh, so what people or departments did you work with while doing this project? Um, so my supervisor is uh, Ian McQuillan with the Department of Computer Science, and I, I've definitely worked uh, uh, entirely with uh, the Department of Computer Science. It's uh, through the NSERC program in particular, uh, which is a really good way for students uh, to let me do research uh, as my summer job. So, uh, Could you just uh, tell us just what NSERC stands for? Okay. Oh, sorry. NSERC is, I think, National Science and Engineering Research Council. And so they do a lot of funding for different research projects in the sciences and engineering. Uh, and in particular, they have an undergraduate scholarship, which lets, which lets a student, even as, low as, even as young as first year, uh, do summer research and work with a professor. So. so from doing this project, how do you think this has inspired your future aspirations or career goals? Um, the, the, the project has definitely inspired me to do more in research, right? Uh, computer science in particular is often very industry focused uh, and, and I, I've really discovered how much I enjoy finding new knowledge, finding, creating things and discovering things which, which really literally uh, no person has, has ever understood before. And so it's um, definitely the, uh, the classes you take in school are very much uh, focused on fulfilling a particular goal or solving a problem that somebody gives to you. And I think that this, this has really enabled me to realize um, how much I enjoy creating something totally new instead of simply trying to fulfill some goal or meet a requirement. So, uh, so how do you think this experience um, is more valuable than just a regular classroom experience? Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's really valuable at showing you kind of how to do something entirely cre creative instead of, instead of just uh, meeting a requirement, doing an assignment, you're, you're actually finding new things. And um, uh, in particular, being, being undirected. It's learning how to, because there is no right answer. There is no way for you to go. Nobody's telling you how to solve this problem because nobody's ever solved it before. And so I think it's really good at teaching students how to direct their, their own research and how to, how to discover new things uh, on their own. And so that's, that's a skill which you can apply in so many different ways.